Hey guys, today I'm gonna teach you how to upgrade your webcam image from this to this. And it's actually a lot easier than you might think. So if you guys are anything like me, I've been working from home remotely now for over a month. And one thing that was really annoying was attending all these virtual meetings and it just being the webcam from my computer. I wanted to find a way to be able to use my Canon EOS R as a webcam. But the problem was the only way I traditionally knew how to do it was using an HDMI capture device of some kind, cam link, something like that. So with everyone working virtually right now, all of these devices around the world are basically sold out. So I thought it wasn't possible until I started doing a little bit of digging and it's actually a lot easier than I thought. Uh, it only requires one cable that you should already have with any of your DSLR or mirrorless cameras and two apps that you have to download onto your laptop. All right, so some basic things you're gonna need. You're gonna need your laptop, you're gonna need a camera, and you're gonna need some cable to connect the two. So if your camera has the ability to do tethered shooting, it would have came with some sort of USB cable to connect it into your laptop. So in addition to the hardware, you're also gonna need some software. You'll need to download two apps, and the great thing about these apps is that they're completely free. So one is called Camera Live, and the next is called Cam Twist, and I'll link to both of those below. So once you've got everything installed on your laptop, you're gonna to wanna to plug in your camera and make sure that everything's working properly. So for me, I have a MacBook Pro. One thing about these laptops is that they only have USB-C connections. So if you're like me, then you're gonna need some sort of dongle like this that allows you to plug USB into USB-C. So we'll get that plugged in. Once you've got your camera connected to your laptop, go ahead and open up Camera Live. And as you can see here, it immediately recognized my Canon EOS R. And it's showing in this box right here that the status is active. And that's really important. You're gonna wanna make sure that your camera is showing is active. The next thing to do is open up Cam Twist. And one thing I noticed in some of the videos that I watched that wasn't described is you need to open up your preferences and change a couple of your settings. So make sure your frame rate is set to 30 frames per second. And then here in video size, change that to 1920 by 1080 under the custom category. Next on this left window, select Siphon. And then over here in Siphon Server, select Camera Live. And it's that simple. Once you have those programs installed and your camera is connected and everything's working well, go ahead and open whatever streaming service you use for doing virtual meetings. For my team, we use BlueJeans a lot. So I'm gonna open up BlueJeans. And as you can see, we're right here looking at my webcam. You just need to, whether it's in Microsoft Teams or BlueJeans or whatever other service you use, go into your camera settings and there should be an option here for cam twist. And once you select that, you'll be able to see your new webcam. So now that you have your new camera working as your webcam, I have a few more tips for you that I encountered as I was trying to get this set up myself. In all of the videos that I watched that showed how easy this was, for some reason when I first plugged this in, nothing seemed to be working. And so I had to do a little bit of troubleshooting and one thing I recognized that seemed to be the main issue and for others that I've talked to that had similar problems was you have to have the correct version of both of those apps installed. So just so you guys know, I'm using version 13 of Camera Live and version 3.4.3 for Cam Twist. Having the wrong versions installed was keeping this from working originally. So just make sure you're up to date on the latest versions of the app. So now that you have everything up and running, I just wanna go over a few more pointers to get the best image that you possibly can for your virtual meetings. So one really important thing to consider when you're setting up and finding your frame is finding good lighting. You don't need to have a ton of lighting equipment or do anything fancy. Just find some areas in your house that have really good natural light. For instance, I have a large window right here that's letting in a lot of natural daylight and that's all the light I need. 
you mainly don't want to sit in front of a window that's going to cause a lot of backlight behind you because then your face will be in shadow and no one's going to be able to see you. So another thing I found really helpful is to actually have your camera on a tripod. So you can see I have my Canon EOS R here mounted on a tripod just right in front of me where my laptop is sitting. The reason I like having the tripod is it's a really stable thing for my camera. Sometimes you move your table around a lot. If you have a smaller camera body, you could use something like a Joby Gorillapod, uh, but again, that kind of introduces some shake if you're moving the table a lot. So I really like having something really stable and durable like a tripod. Another thing when trying to find your frame is try to create some depth. So I'm sitting at my dining room table. We could have just set me up against a wall and it's just white and kind of boring and there's nothing to see there. But by having me in frame and in focus here, it creates some really nice depth behind me and it just kind of brings that upgraded quality to your image that you're not going to get on a traditional webcam from your laptop. And the last thing to consider when you're thinking through your frame is look at what's behind you. You really don't want any like house plants coming out of your head or maybe a lamp. So right now, as you can see, I just have all the lines kind of behind me are just really framing my face so that there's nothing distracting and everybody knows exactly what the subject of the frame is. All right, so I hope this video was helpful to you. I would love to hear in the comments below what camera you're using and if the process worked well for you. If you want more content like this or this video was helpful to you, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button and we'll bring you more content like this in the future. Can you hear that? Luna! Luna! <laughs>